Hi, I'm Laura, the School and Public Programs Manager at the Maritime Museum of BC and for the 2021 Classic Boat Festival. Tillicum was originally a 38-foot Nichalnoth ocean-going red cedar dugout canoe used for whaling. Made from a single solid red cedar log, she was purchased by Captain John C. Voss for $80 in 1901 and properly outfitted for his purposes. In Voss's own record, The Venturesome Voyages of Captain Voss, he bent 24 inches apart, one inch square oak frames inside the hull from one end to the other, fastened with galvanized iron nails, and built up the sides seven inches. He also built a five by eight foot cabin in her and a cockpit for steering, after which he rigged her with three small masts and four small fore and aft sails, spreading in all about 230 square feet of canvas. He named her Tillicum, a word meaning friend in the Chinook trading language. She was loaded with a half ton of ballast between her floor timbers and 400 pounds of sand in four bags to be used for trimming ballast. This work would have been carried out at Spotlight Cove, where shipwright Harry Volmers had his own small boat works. He was never given any credit by Voss or Luxton for his efforts, or for the efforts of his wife, who was the one who sewed his sails on her own sewing machine. But Harry Volmers should be given his due place in the Tillicum record. It was in search of fame and fortune that Voss and his mate Norman K. Luxton set out to sail a small boat around the world. Voss was a veteran master mariner, and Luxton a young journalist who intended to record and publish the story of the journey. Despite the general opinion that Tillicum would never get beyond Cape Flattery, Voss and Luxton set out on May 21st, 1901 on their voyage. Though Tillicum herself was soundly constructed and a successful seagoing vessel, the physical and mental challenges proved too taxing for Luxton, who quit the voyage at Suva in Fiji. Voss's next mate was then lost overboard in a tragic accident, leaving Voss to sail to Australia single-handed. Voss ended up being accompanied by a succession of nine different mates, all of whom didn't stay for long. The mates found conditions on the boats cramped and unpleasant, while Voss thrived on the adventure and showed supreme confidence in his little craft. Voss and Tillicum were media sensations in their day, and the number of visitors at each port of call saw a steady increase. Voss paid his way by exhibiting the boat at all of his ports of call. The voyage eventually ended in 1904 in London, UK. After being exhibited in the Naval and Fisheries Exhibition of 1905, she was privately sold. Unsuccessful as a yacht, and with a frustrating configuration, by the 1920s, Tillicum was derelict in the Thames estuary. Tillicum returned to Canada in 1930 after her repatriation by the City of Victoria and the British Columbia government. For 30 years, she was cared for by the members of the Thermopylae Club, and then joined the Maritime Museum of British Columbia Collection in 1965.